ay rated PG. Patnubay at gabay ng magulang ay kailangan sa mga batang manunood. Ha! Bienvenido sa la cripta! Dami tu cosita! Dami tu cosita! Ay! Dami tu cosita! Dami tu cosita! Ay! Dami tu cosita! Okay, so before we start, um, I would like to ask you if you um, already read the story Close Proximity. Do you guys read it already, na? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good. So now, we will proceed to the exciting part. This time, we will having a recitation. So be ready. Ya. Presentation na naman si Ma'am. Oo. Oh, oh. Nagaling ka kayo, guys. Nagaling ka kayo. Oo. Oh, oh. Eh, ako hindi nagbasa. Puti, wala akong may isagot. Nag-review ka kayo. Ako hindi eh. Turuan niyo ako mamaya, ha? Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna ask you some questions lang naman based on the story. So, yeah. Kayang-kaya niya yan. So ngayon, kita nyo naman hawak ko na ang mahiwagang index card. So, the first question goes to Mr. Brokal. Here's your question. So, who is the author of this story entitled Close Proximity? Journal Keao Mamale is widely acknowledged as one of the greatest Burmese writers of 20th century. Her stories are known for authentic portrayals of modern Burmese society. Along with Duludaw Amar, Mamale was one of a few female publishers in Burma. Mamale was born Mathin Halaing in Karmaklo Village, a year one the division Myanmar in 1917. She later married Chit Mong, the chief editor of Mayan Maalin in 1938. Together, they founded the journal Kiao newspaper in 1939. She began writing articles and short stories under the pen name Journal Kiao Mamale. Mamale was just 29 when her husband died in 1946, leaving her with two sons and a daughter. Despite being a young widow, Mamale displayed her talent and ability as a writer and a publisher. Not only did she not close down the journal, she published another Another one named Pitu Hitaing or the People's Voice newspaper in accordance with her husband's last wish. Mama Lay wrote nearly 20 books and many articles and short stories in the monthly magazines. Many of her contemporaries and even younger writers describe her as a genius who would make simple everyday matters into readable, interesting books which reflected the lives and concerns of her readers. She died in Yangon in April 6, 1982. She was almost 65 years old. That's correct. So how about naman sa characters? Miss Kwasay. 
So, ang mga main character po sa story na close proximity ay sina Yu Po Sing, 75 years old and he is a doctor. So, based from his wife, he was a selfish and unforgiving person. Next naman po is si Dao Pan Yu. She is the wife of Yu Po Sing and she's also 75 years old. She has a small grocery as her source of income. So, based from her husband, um, she was a stubborn, ungrateful, and self-centered person. And lastly, we have Ma Tao. She is the daughter of Dao Pan Yu and Yu Po Sing. She's 37 years old and worked as a seamstress in her mother's small grocery store. She is a very lovely daughter and she always obey her parents. Thank you, Miss Kwasai. So, the third question is for um, Miss Gabia. So, I'm gonna ask you how is Mata as a daughter and Upu Sen as a father and Dao Pan U as a mother. Mata's daughter is a giving person. She cherishes and adores her parents, which is demonstrated by the fact that she continues to live with them despite the fact that they are riding in their 70s at she ay nahihirapan maging mature sa harap ng kalagayan ng kanyang mga magulang. But she did, but she made the decision to view both of their perspective with empathy as a daughter. Yu Po Sien and Dao Pan Yu, on their other hand, were so arrogant and self-centered that they choose not to give their family an opportunity at upang mapabuti sa kapakanan ng kanilang anak na babae. Very good, Miss Gabia. Okay, Miss Ramos, you're next. So my question is, what can you say about the relationship between Matao's parents? The relationship between Matao's parents are separated, but still living in the same house, they had their own stove to cook their meal separately and had separate family. So, pinapakita po dito na nagsasama na lang po sila para po sa kanilang mga anak or pinapakita lang po nila na buo sila para po hindi ma-affectahan yung kanilang mga anak o yung pamilya nila. Daryl said, Miss Ramos, So now, ano sa palagay niyo yung reason why Matal's parent got divorced? Because of their ego killed of their family. They develop a self-centered attitude and did little modify their behavior to fit one another's personality. Yeah, exactly. So, another question. What age did Matal's mother give birth to her? Matao's mother, Dao Pan Yu, was past 40 when she gave birth to her one and only daughter. And what is Matao's age naman when her parents got divorced? Matao's age nung naghiwalay po yung kanyang mga magulang is siya po ay 10 years old but now she is 35 years old for 25 years her parents had not spoken to each other Thank you Mr. Brokal So ngayon um, paano naman nagsimula ang relationship between Dao Pan U and U Pu Sen? The story of her parents began when Yu Pu Sien from the upcountry had arrived to treat a smallpox patient. Tapos po yung disease po na to ay mabilis po siyang kumalat sa buong bibi. Kaya po, she needs to stay there for a longer time po to treat the whole village. Thank you. Another question. What did Dao Pan Uses? when he got frustrated with her husband and how about Upu Sen to her wife? 
So, when Dao Pan Yu become frustrated with his husband, lagi niyang sinasabi that Yu Po Sein always spoke abruptly that he thought too much of himself and that he was selfish, fussy, unforgiving, and contrary person. So, kapag naman si Yu Po Sein ang frustrated sa kanyang asawa, Sinasabi niya na ito daw ay stingy, she did not get along with anyone, had too many things going on, and was stubborn, ungrateful, self-centered, and unhelpful. After all, do you think Matao's parents still care for each other? Yes or no? Yes, they care because they still pray for each other. Okay, volunteer, this is the last question. Okay, what lesson have you learned from this story? Mr. Brokal, you're raising your hand. Go on. The lesson from this story is it is really important to think a million times before we decide on such things like in this story. They decided to cut ties for their own benefits. They did not care about the welfare of their only child. At the end of the day, the daughter would be the one who's gonna suffer from their conflicts and she will be torn forever. Thank you for your substantial learnings, Mr. Bokal, especially everyone for your participation. Thank you. I hope you learn a lot so that you can apply it into your life. So you are. Thank you everyone. Class dismissed. Here are the vocabulary words Rubbish Very bad Worthless or useless Toddler A young child who is just beginning to walk Pussy A weak, cowardly or effeminate man Pagoda, a Hindu Buddhist temple or sacred building, typically a miniature tower in India and East Asia. Heave, lift or haul, a heavy thing with great effort. A spinster, unmarried woman. Bickering, arguing over petty and trivial matters.